You know, I was thinking about something, guys. Uh, what is up with Oprah? I shouldn't even be saying, because I know Oprah was shady for a long, long, long time. And now everybody is on that, well, Oprah's a coon tip. I mean, I've been, I knew Oprah was a coon for many years, and people were, like, doubting me about what I, about it. Uh, let me explain to you kind of what I mean. This is DJ Wolf Live. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> Oprah Winfrey, Negro woman of the South. She actually is from the South. She's from Mississippi. Um, that's where she was born, born and raised, actually. Um, she, uh, for years, had been a coon. That's that's been. I don't know why everybody ever since the uh, she started talking about uh, Michael Jackson uh, recently because of the HBO movie uh, documentary. Leaving Neverland came out, and she had uh, interviewed uh, the three key people that was involved with the film. Uh, and people all of a sudden after my, oh, well, she, she was, uh, she's a coon. She's, I said, what, what the fuck y'all realize Oprah was a coon? Oh, Oprah always been a coon. This is a woman who who caters to a specific audience for decades. This is a woman who who, who had started a book club. Okay. This is the woman who who, who had, had the biggest names of Hollywood she had on her show weren't black. They were white. Almost all white. There are most rappers she wouldn't even have on this show. I don't know of any rappers she had on the show. You know? 50 Cent and uh, Ice Cube and others have had films out. Uh, oh, yeah, she had Will Smith. I'm sorry. Uh, but those guys, she wouldn't put on the show. Yeah. She was trying to be PC, politically correct out this month. And I kind of knew something about her wasn't right with me for a long time. I, I talked about that all the way back to, from 1992. You know, and Oprah was a coon fest. You know, people talking about Oprah was going to get married to Stephen. I knew, I, I, I called it out. I told people, I said, Oprah ain't marrying no man. She don't want no man. I knew that then. I called, I was one of the first people called by her and Gail King. I knew that. She ain't want no man. She ain't even looking for no man. She really wasn't. You know? Oprah been abused by, by guys. Men in her own family. But, you know, at least that's that's what was alleged. And I'm going to say alleged. She might have actually said but I'm going to say alleged. That's what was alleged. I'll leave it there. But I knew all the time she didn't want no dude. Because she didn't marry Steph. I said... She had, had been dating Stedman for what, at the time, almost a decade. I said, she ain't marrying that guy. And I was right. This is when she actually was supposed to get married. And she never married. Oprah never wanted no man. She she does a, did a lot of men bashing on her show for years. You know? So why why all of a sudden black people uh, surprised that Oprah is a cone? All of a sudden. All of a sudden. Oprah been a cone. What, what is this, this energy coming from? Oh, oh she's a coon. We're, we're, she, she talked about Michael. Remember, Oprah was the one who started the downfall or or or, 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 or really put the uh, put the knife in Michael Jackson's back with her uh, legendary interview back in 1993. Why is anybody surprised? She was the one started it. She initialized it. So why is anybody shocked about her uh, throwing Michael Jackson under the bus? You know, she did it before. That's what, that's what, she was the initiator of it. The whole thing, you know? And to be honest, she was set up to do that. Not that she was set up, but she, she, she was involved, heavily involved with the downfall of Michael Jackson. Early on. From the inception, you know? So why is anybody surprised by that? When she did the interview, that's when all these investigations were being launched. Not not long after that. No. That's what got him in trouble in the courts for years. Was that. You know. So I, I'm like. Why is anybody surprised? I've never been surprised. I knew Oprah was a coon for decades. Everybody all of a sudden. Whoa, I didn't know that. Man, please. If you knew about her, uh, uh, you know, throwing Michael Jackson under the buses 
early as far back as 1993 when she did the interview, then you know she was a coon from that point on. I've, I've, I've always said, I said, you can't trust Oprah. And I said for years, I said, Oprah was the one that, um, I said, if it wasn't for Oprah, Michael Jackson probably wouldn't have been in the situation he was in. And that's a fact. Because the next thing you know, overnight, they started uh, doing investigations on Michael Jackson. They did, you know. But I, I really, I'm going to be honest with y'all guys. I don't, I didn't get this fast. How could I put it? I don't think Michael Jackson was the kind of person that would, would literally intentionally try to hurt children. I don't. You know, that's just me. And uh, it's never been proven that he ever did it. And yet, they still throwing him under the bus 10 years later. You know, the media, along with Oprah, won't give Michael Jackson a rest. Literally, won't give him a rest. You know, they've been making off money off of him for, forever and a day, and they continue to do so today. Except uh, now that, that they're uh, smirching his name. You know, they're throwing his name under the bus. That's what they're actually doing. And they, they've been bashing. Janet Jackson had to get Oprah's ass one time about, about, by the way, Oprah talked about Michael Jackson. She said, I ain't like the way you did my brother. She, uh, she actually said on her show, you know, Oprah, and I talked about before, Oprah has been known uh, for having beef with people, especially uh, in black entertainment for decades. You ain't never really known her to have too many beefs with white people. Most of the beefs I know of her to have beef, beef with or, or black entertainers. Ice Cube, uh, 50 Cent, that I know of. I mean, I, I heard something about that, but Ice Cube, I know I know had a beef with her. Uh, she had beef with the Wans because they talked, they, they, they did the joke, they did a, a skit about her, which I still, it was, it was a comedy skit. Well, I was being hurt at the time, and they ain't like what you're doing. And she had, had them apologize to her. I was like, really? Really, Oprah? Oprah? She literally had them apologize to her for doing, a, for doing a skit on their show about her. It was a skit. You know? By the time she had already lost the weight, I'm like, why are you, why are you, why are you getting mad? You get mad because they did a joke, and they did a skit about you. She literally got upset about it. She absolutely got upset about it. She didn't like it at all. Don't go drive, man. She got upset. Because they talked about it. Crazy as fuck. You know, but... Yeah, and uh, I think she even pissed off Bill Cosby on one of her last shows that she did. Right around the time he, uh, just before they started talking about him. You know, with the uh, uh, Hammer Burst thing that, that got him in trouble. You know, so. But Oprah Benicone, man. Speaking of Hammer Burst, notice uh, you ain't heard nothing. You ain't really heard a whole lot about Hammer Burst since he uh, talked about Bill Cosby. In his comedy skit, the comedy skit that he talked about, Bill Cosby, that uh, led to the allegations that led to the trial of Bill Cosby, that led him to jail. Ain't heard nothing from Hannibal Burris after that. Yeah, it's been all quiet on the Western Front when it comes to him. You ain't heard nothing else about her and Hannibal Burris after that. Yeah, not a word, not nothing, not anything. It's been like. It's, just, it's been like, yeah, nada. Yep, everything's been like peachy quiet. Yep. These people mass were probably nuts. Okay, I can't get out of here. Let's see. Let me find this. Let me find this. Gotta be able to let somebody get over there. Well, I tell you, these people, man. <laughs> these people on the roads, I tell you. But, uh... I, I, I just can't, like I said, I, I haven't watched the entire uh, Oprah uh, 
special that she did on her network. I plan on it. This is actually online. I actually watched some of it last night, about a minute or two. But I haven't even finished watching, uh, I haven't even got through uh, part one of the uh, Leaving Neverland documentary really yet. So I'm still on that. But I do. I am going to do a full uh, live uh, podcast about it because I won't definitely talk about it. I think uh, Wade Robinson is a fucking snake. You know, he literally built his brand off of Michael Jackson. He built his career. He built a career off of Michael Jackson, man. You know, he really did. From the time he was seven, you know, then he turned around and said Michael Jackson wasn't guilty of doing that kind of stuff that he was accused of doing. Then he turned around and said, "Oh." Mm. He's like, oh, son, you can make money off of Michael. You know Michael better than anybody. And then he turned around and did just that. Threw him under the bus. Threw him straight under the fucking bus. Sure did. After Michael Jackson vir- virtually gave him a career, man. Yeah. I said, that's messed up. That is messed up. That's about all I got to say about it. I, I, I'm just shaking my head. I think you got to be kidding me. You know. Oh, well. But Oprah, not surprised by that. Not surprised for a minute. Just some of y'all all of a sudden got hip to how how dirty she is, she, she was and is. This is nothing, no. No surprise here. No surprise. There's a no surprise on here mm, on DJ Wolf Live because I knew all the time that she was a snake. You know. Well, that's all I got. But, uh, of course, I will have a lot more to say about this and uh, the, the, her, uh, her uh, special regarding the uh, HBO documentary, Leaving Neverland, and more on that. I can get a chance to review it hopefully by this weekend. Uh, this is DJ Wolf.